I am an American by chance. My parents are immigrants from Trinidad and Tobago, twin islands off the coast of Venezuela. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, while my parents were graduate students at Columbia University, but moved to Kenya when I was three. I did not return to the U.S. until I was 17. I am thus an African American, but not. <laughs> I'm Lisa Armstrong. I'm Daniel Bernard Remain. And I'm a journalist. I'm a composer. So this piece started um, as a collaboration, and it was composed uh, to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the publishing of Cornell West's book, Race Matters. I interviewed a number of people, including uh, a Trump supporter, a six-year-old who lives in South Texas, um, an undocumented immigrant serving a life without parole sentence, and I asked them all the same question, um, does race matter? I took Lisa's interviews, and together we edited those interviews down into their most uh, specific and interesting moments. Those moments were then set to music, using their voices almost as a musical instrument. And the last element of the piece was the live performance. Together on stage, Lisa as narrator and me as a live electric violinist, the piece becomes alive and potent um, in that you're hearing the pre-recorded interviews, you're seeing a journalist speaking directly to you, and you're seeing and hearing uh, a violinist who's combining all of these sonic elements into a unified uh, musical performance. So I used my own story um, of my own exploration of what it means to be a black woman in America, um, as well as the child of immigrants, to weave everything together. And the responses that we got from people ranged from the little girl in Texas saying that she was happy she was black because her skin looked like chocolate, to the Trump supporters saying that she didn't feel that race mattered and that, if anything, things had become better for people of color since Trump had been elected. Uh, the idea for the piece now is to expand it, to look at other issues that divide us, because it seems that we, le we live in a time where increasingly there are more and more divisions. So to look beyond race and to look at religion and gender um, and where our families come from. As the composer, I'm thinking about sounds beyond the violin and beyond pre-recorded sound uh, to include violin, to include uh, piano, and to really think about how we can tell this story of where we are as a country and how our country is part of a much larger and much more complex world. The way people see race has to do with numbers. The more of you there are, the less you have to worry about the color of your skin. 76.6% of Americans are white. 18.1% of us are Hispanic or Latinx. 13.4% of Americans are black. Just 1.3% of us are Native American. But that is just a box and doesn't really tell the true story of who they are. I think race matters more than ever in 2018. I think that what we're seeing is a society that's becoming increasingly segregated because all of the things that people couldn't talk about or people wouldn't talk about, they feel free to now express openly. There is no yes or no answer. For me, personally, race does not matter. Well, it doesn't really matter, though, because um, when you're born in, in other places, sometimes you don't have to look the same. You can look different. It's all, you know, it starts with economics. If you have a job and you can put food on the table, you, you're, you've solved the most basic need in life. And then if there's some way you can reintroduce the black family into society. There is one place where the power structure that exists in most parts of the United States is flipped on its head, prison. Here, blacks and Latinx make up more of the population than they do in the free world. And the rules are different. Whoever got the more numbers, the people that got the most numbers, man, is the people that got the power. It's hard to be hopeful in a time where every single day brings new distressing news about the state of our disunion.
But as Cornell West wrote 25 years ago, in these downbeat times, we need as much hope and courage as we do vision and analysis. We must accent the best of each other, even as we point out the vicious effects of our racial divide. and I would just try to make the world a better place.